everyone, it's Kooky Cave Kid, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make a custom intro for your YouTube videos. And it's how I made mine, and it's really easy, and all you need is Windows Live Movie Maker, which comes on every new Windows 7 computer. So, let me just show you my current intro, if you didn't see it at the start of this video. So that's my current intro, and it's easy, it's just four clips um, all combined together with nice smooth uh, fading transitions and some music. So the base of the intro is three, four, or however many more you want, uh, usually three minimum, uh, or else it's not that long, of any video clips uh, that you have on your videos usually. Or you can use pictures and make this much easier. Um, going to want some music, which I, which I will show you guys how to cut down to the size and uh, size of, that you want. And you can also get a custom font. Um, I tried this one before and it wasn't responding, so I'm not going to bother with that. Um, but yeah, you can download custom fonts from dafont.com, D-A-F-O-N-T.com. It's a really good font uh, website. And Windows Live Movie Maker, which once again comes on every uh, new Windows 7 computer. So, start off by finding the first clip you want to show in your tutorial. So I'm going to show this one, uh, which is me showcasing a gun mod in Minecraft. So I'm going to right click that, open with, and Windows Live Movie Maker. And it should come up like this, um, because I've already saved the video, it will have to um, prepare it because it is an HD video, so I'm just going to speed this part up. Okay, now my video is almost done preparing here. And you will only have to wait for it to prepare if uh, it's already saved and edited, and especially because mine's HD format. So now mine is fully here and I can hit the play button. And there's my intro, Minecraft, my video. That this should work. The most blah, blah, the guns blah, blah, while you're So, the goal of this tutorial is to create an intro which shows uh, three sped up clips of your videos. So what I'm going to do is find a section of my video here which that I want to show. So I'm going to show this part where I'm shooting these cool guns and lighting stuff on fire. So find that section and leave it at that mark. And go to uh, video tools and go to edit when you're clicking on this video and go split at um, the current point where you want to have the clip start. And it should divide it into two clips. So now with this whole section here, you can click that and just hit the delete key or right click and remove. So now Most, we have this uh, portion of the clip which shows all the stuff that we want to show. These you can go and the ammo find. One. So I can go ahead, flamethrower these trees. There's a lot of crafting recipes. You can go check videos. I'll, I'll remember this will be sped up, so you don't want it to be sh too short. So actually, what we want to do first is click on our video and go speed and change it to 4x. And this will be really laggy at first, but when you save your video, it will actually not. So go to around. Go to the start. See where you want it to end. Okay. It should be good. And just hit the split tool again, and it will divide it into two. You can click the second half and hit delete. So now we have a clip of us shooting 
fire on trees with the flamethrower. Pretty cool, right? And that's actually repeating, but I'll just show you. Six seconds long. I'm actually going to trim that down again. So wait, you can go, instead of using the split tool again, you can actually hit the trim tool and just drag this left one all the way to the start. And this one down a bit to however long you want it to be. I'll do 442, that's good. And you can hit save trim. So now, Uh oh, something happened here. Okay, so we have our clip. That was a little mess up there. We can always trim them down after. So that's our first sped up clip. And now you can go ahead and do those with all your other clips. So, yeah. Okay, so I have my three clips here, all processed, and I've edited them and sped them up. Uh, this one actually made it um, not as fast, uh, just for uh, length. But So I have my three clips here, and now to the next step, which is the title at the start of the video, which says your channel name or something else, or you can have a logo with the picture. So what I do, I go to the start, and I go to Home tab, and go add, um, either add videos and photos, which you can then get... Um, certain pictures so I could do something like this with this kind of fiery um, thing I made and then you can go up here and click caption and then you can get text like testing and then you can make this bold and bigger and you can move it around so you can have this thing that says testing with like a cool background and you can go into text tools and do like, um, uh, whoops, sorry. Oh. Darn. Hit all this extra stuff here. So I can have this, have my caption, and then apply certain effects to it, like this. And so it kind of shines on, or this, or like this, or all these really cool things, right? Or if you don't want to use that, what you can do, just delete this. Uh, instead of having a picture, you can just hit title, and it'll just put a black background, and you can add text. So I'll put testing, and make this maybe bold, make it a bit bigger nice big so people can see and then I just have a fade on usually and then I'd go here and I change duration to about four seconds on both of them the video and the text so it's like that it's almost a bit too long let's try three Should be nice. Okay, that that's okay. You can always tweak it um how you like it. So this is what we have so far. Testing, then we have our three clips. This one's a bit long, so I'm go actually going to trim that down. So check your trim tool. And make sure you don't actually you don't trim back to the part that you don't want. Let's shrink it down like that. We can see the length. There we go. All about the same size. Three different um, kind of unique clips. Okay. So now we want to get to the music and the transitions. So first I'm going to deal with the music. So you're going to get um, an audio track that you want. So 
I have um, a couple here. They're just uh, like trance, uh, like electric songs. Um, let's do this one. And you can now open it up in any sound editor that you want. You can't use Windows Movie Maker to edit this sound. Well, you can, but it's just not as good. So I have this one called WavePad Sound Editor. And just wait for that to load up. Yeah, my trial's expired. I'll use a different one. If I do, I can use Audacity. Audacity's free. And it's pretty good. Just opening this up here. Okay, so I have this up in my sound editor. And I can figure out how to cut it down to the size that I want. So here I'm pretty sure I can go like this. Um, hit delete and just delete that part so when I play it, it's pretty good and you can look at the spikes to know when certain parts of the uh, song start and I'm just gonna go down to like uh, that's 45 30 seconds I'll do like 30 seconds and I can just uh, control X I'm pretty sure File new and control V. There we go. So now we have this part of our song. Yeah, I'd advise, um, you can make your own track, and you can customize the length and stuff, just to avoid copyright issues, but this is fine, so now I'm just going to export this as a mp3, so test song for intro, and for Audacity you have to download a special plugin to be able to export as mp3, but that's okay. So we have, where to go, test song for intro right here. We can drag this back. So now we have our song. I also have a different version here that I use, but I'm just gonna use the one that I made today. So you can just click this and drag it down here and then just pop it right in there and it should go right there. So now we have some music. It's really choppy, there's no transitions, and it doesn't fade in or anything. So go up to the music and go music tools and fade in, set to medium, fade out, set to fast. And you can change the music volume if you want. I usually just turn it down a little bit. Actually, I might change this to fast also. and it should fade out really good. So now we want to work on the actual clips. So at the end of our title here, um, okay, we're going to go to video tools, or actually, oh, it already fades out. So go here and go um, visual of animations for your next clip right after that, and go, uh, blur through black and it should be you're gonna have to scroll down one and it's right here and it's so it'll fade in from black right and go back here and uh go back to your title actually and go visual effects or i guess you can't never mind okay i keep messing up so go back to your second clip and yeah go to animation select that and then go to visual effects scroll down one and go fade out to black. So we have a fade in and fade out from black. Okay. And now we're going to do the same thing on all of them. So animation and the visual effect of the fade in. So fade in, fade out. And then save. 
same with this one. There we go. So that's pretty much our intro. And the main part is just tweaking it and getting it right. And even at the end of this, you can use uh, the title tool. Drag this back over here. And put something that says, like, you know, subscribe. And the music will automatically extend down there. And once again, you, sh you can use pictures at the background also. So let's test this out. And that's a bit long, but you'd always tweet that after. And then for intros, I actually, um, even though it takes a bit longer, because you're going to be adding this intro to every single one of your videos, um, it will have to be actually saved twice, if you think about it, because we're saving it here, and then saving it when we edit our other video, which will actually be in another tutorial that I'll have up. So for the best quality when we save it the second time in the other video, I like to save my intros HD, and it does take uh, quite a bit longer, but that's okay for intros. So you just go up here, go to the Home tab, go all the way to the right, and go to the arrow next to Save Movie, and go 1080p for High Definition Display. And then you can name it. Um, I'll do uh, Testing intro, put it wherever you want. You can only export in Windows uh, media video file. It's actually pretty high quality, so you don't have to worry about that. And you can just hit save and it will start saving your movie. This is going pretty fast because it's really short clips and they're all sped up. So let's just wait for this to save. I'm gonna speed this bit up a bit. Okay, and it's done saving. This thing will pop up, it says your movie is now done, and you can open the folder that it's in. In my case, it's desktop. And also what you can do, if you don't want to save it as an actual video file, you can go up here to this thing and go save project as. So now when, if you save uh, your project, or just save project, and you name it, so uh, test intro, and find a spot for it, and you save it. Now you can close this down, and instead of using your actual video file and adding that to your video, you can actually just use this, and your intro will also be um, a bit higher quality. It's just more to take care of in the saving process. So uh, instead of opening up a new Windows Movie Maker thing, and then adding your file in, and then waiting for it to prepare, which won't take that long, and having it be a bit lower quality because it has to save twice. You can actually open up the project, which you can have saved, go down to the end, and then add your other video. So you could go into um, find your raw video file, and then trim down your music, which I can do really easily. Set endpoint. Hey everyone, it's now we can have our video here and then save it, and so our intro so will be it a bit a higher quality. Um, but it's just a bit more to take care of, as we have our audio track here with multiple slides. So yeah, that's how you can make an intro in Windows Live Movie Maker for your YouTube videos. Thanks for watching. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe.